splenomegaly. General features Look for features of chronic liver disease and for evidence of hematological disease, pallor or polycythemia, indwelling tunneled line, for chemotherapy, lymphadenopathy. Abdominal examination Observe for scars and obvious swellings before beginning to palpate. After gentle palpation in all quadrants to detect very obvious masses and to see if the patient is tender anywhere, examine for hepatomegaly, splenomegaly and renal enlargement using standard technique. Further discussion What are the common causes of splenomegaly? Common Myeloproliferative diseases, chronic myeloid leukemia, polycythemia rubra vera, myelofibrosis. Lymphoproliferative diseases, Hodgkin's disease and non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, chronic lymphoid leukemia. Portal hypertension. Less common. Chronic infections, e.g. malaria, schistosomiasis. Systemic disease, e.g. sarcoidosis, amyloidosis, SLE. Thalassaemia major. Rare. Acute infections, e.g. infectious mononucleosis, bacterial endocarditis, typhoid. Storage diseases, e.g. Gaucher's, Neiman Pick. Acute leukemia. Hemolytic anemia. How would you investigate a patient found to have splenomegaly or hepatosplenomegaly? Blood tests, FBC and blood film, routine biochemistry especially liver and bone profiles, inflammatory markers. Radiological investigation, CXR, hyalur lymphadenopathy, CT abdomen. Other tests, as determined by clinical suspicion, e.g. bone marrow, screen for causes of chronic liver disease.